Hello YouTube. Some of you may have seen my video about the Tesla flying stove. Now I was contacted by a YouTube friend regarding that and his own idea about how to do an inertial propulsion engine. I'm on his website here and you can see he's um, explained it with drawing it and so on. So let me just get to the actual engine part. Right, he's got two circular tracks and two weights that move in opposite directions around the circle. Um, but what's different about it is the way these weights are moved. They push against each other. Um, he's got two e electromagnets. Um, they push against each other rather than pushing, say, against an axle or something like that. And there's quite an advantage to doing that because there's no um, reaction against the mechanism or the or the chassis that's holding this track. The reaction is against the other weight, and so this drive should actually work in space. To um, explain a bit better, I've made this blender drawing. Uh, so you see the two weights, and I've drawn two magnets on it to stand in for the electromagnets he talks about. So the two magnets oppose each other, which then pushes the weights around the circular track. And the basic idea is that as it moves around the top half, it'll be going faster than when it comes around at the bottom. And you can see that, yeah, when it comes around, I've made the magnet smaller to indicate that it's now a lesser force. And now they kind of slow the weights down as they come around. And then they speed up again. And slow down again. So the net result is these weights move faster around the top than they do around the bottom. So the centripetal force at the top will be greater than at the bottom. Uh, it'll basically be the difference between the centripetal force at the top and the bottom. Now if you want to test this, um, building it like this is going to be kind of tricky. So I think for practical reasons, it will be better off doing something like this. If you get two spur gears, make one side heavier, uh, attach electromagnets like that and the gears make sure that they work together so that they don't get out of sync. So as you rotate, again the two magnets push around the top and when it gets to the bottom they slow down the rotation and speeds up again and slows down and that's the general idea. Not too hard. Now, on his website he explains quite a lot about it. There has been a device before that's kind of similar, but or quite different as well. This is the Thornton inertial engine. It's also got two weights that work in opposite directions, but he's using gears to drive them and these weights as they come around they do a little swing down here which is a similar effect in that it's and the net result of the swing down here is that the motion is slowed down at the bottom compared to at the top so you get a net thrust in that direction um, there's a video, very poor quality video of the Thornton device installed in a canoe and, well, there you can see the canoe moving along. So, that implies that it works. So, it also implies, therefore, that this design should work. Which is better, I don't know. But that's the basic idea.